Now to the other news and the major headline on the pandemic here in the U.S. and vaccines. Both Pfizer and Johnson & Johnson saying they have new evidence that vaccine booster shots increase protection from COVID and dramatically. Here are the numbers tonight. J&J &J releasing new data showing a booster six months after getting that one shot vaccine increased antibody protection ninefold. Pfizer saying they saw three times the antibodies after their booster shot. At the same time tonight, Moderna has now completed its application for the FDA for full approval just days after Pfizer got that full approval. And all of it, as health officials tonight say that vaccination is the only way out of this pandemic and that these boosters, likely available in September, will be needed to get a hold of this sweeping Delta variant. And with 100,000 people in the U.S. now hospitalized with COVID, that's the highest level in seven months. Tonight, we're inside a hospital in Galveston, where nearly all of the patients in the ICU are on ventilators tonight, all but one unvaccinated. ABC's Marcus Moore from Texas. Tonight, mounting evidence that vaccine booster shots could increase protection from COVID-19. Pfizer reporting on new data showing people who got a booster five to eight months after the second dose saw three times the antibodies. The company will now ask that full authorization for the vaccine be extended to its booster shot. The data is very solid. It does show that there's a loss in immunity that is absolutely improved with the third dose and gives you the extra protection you need. And today, Johnson & Johnson reporting antibody levels jumped nine times in people who got a booster six months after the one shot. The company plans to work with public health authorities to be included in the government's booster rollout. Tonight, more than 100,000 Americans are fighting COVID in hospitals, the highest number in seven months. The National Guard deployed from Georgia to Oregon to help deal with the surge. At UTMB's Jenny Seeley Hospital in Galveston, nearly all of the COVID patients in the ICU are on ventilators and all but one are unvaccinated. We're on one of the ICU floors here and every single room is full. You can tell where the COVID patients are because they have the IV bags just outside. Dr. Sean Nishi says this is the new normal. It's very chaotic because these patients are very unpredictable. At one moment, they look great. In the next moment, they're dying. And it's taking a toll on the staff. You will see the nurses' faces. They are the heart and soul of this institution. But a little bit of them is dying with every patient. Southeast Texas reporting nearly 700 patients are waiting for beds. There are people who, to this day, don't believe this is, this is real. And I say every day, I wish those people could take a walk through these units and see what these patients are going through. In Oklahoma, Shane Satter was unvaccinated when he got COVID. I was stubborn. I won't lie, I was extremely stubborn. I was a guy like everybody else. If I'd have got it by now, I'd have got it. The 27 year old had to learn how to walk hey. and talk all over again after spending three weeks on a ventilator and he now wants the shot. I survived COVID. I'm getting my first vaccine shot. I don't wanna go through this again. These are important messages and we bring them to you every night and Marcus back with us and this new evidence on boosters Marcus is promising but I know the CDC and the FDA will study this. Yeah, David, the CDC panel and advisory panel will meet on Monday to discuss some of that research, but we don't expect the FDA to make a decision uh, until September, likely right before September 20th when the Biden, Biden administration wants to begin dishing out those third shots. David. All right, Marcus Moore in Texas tonight. Marcus, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.